All right, so let's see how we can control shape visibility based on cell value. So you can see here when I put one, two and three here in N3. So what happens is we see different lines on this graph. Okay, so that's a very basic requirement. Wherever you have graphs and you want to have different lines visible based on a value. So you would be requiring such logic. So if you have a look here, we actually have three lines here and two are invisible. So if I select and change the color, you would actually see these three lines for the second one. Okay, so we have these three lines here and as and when I change the value to let's say one, so only first become visible and other two become invisible. Similarly, it happens with second and third line as well. Now what we need to do is we understand one thing that we require three lines when we want to have these three. So we need to have all these placed actually first and then we can control the visibility. So first of all, let me clear all the shapes on all the lines and all the code so that I can explain it to you how to do it from scratch. So now I am plotting three lines. So let's say I plot first one here and second one I can plot, I can just copy and paste and I can put let's say here and the third one again I'll copy and paste and I can put it here. Alright, so we have three lines. Now let me uh, reformat them. Let's say we make it a bit bold and uh, we make it dashed for example that depends on you how you want to see the final output now one thing you need to note here is we need to uh, see the names of these shapes so first one is sheet uh, straight connector 8 second is 9 and third one is 12 okay we'll be using these names while uh, uh, controlling these shapes using vba so i go to vba editor and on the sheet you need to put an event because you want that your shapes should be visible based on value of a cell. So you need to insert a sub procedure which says that wherever there is a change in value of a cell, then I need to perform something. So you need to add worksheet change event. Okay. So inside that you need to trigger the logic only when the value of cell N3 changes. So I put the code here that if target dot address equals N3 only then execute this. Otherwise don't do anything. Now we can put the conditions here that if target dot value equals one, that means we want to do something when the value of cell equals one. So what exactly we want to do at that time? We want that first line should be visible. Other two should be invisible. So I just put a if else block here and the name of the shapes are straight connector eight for the first line. So what we can do here for this shape to be visible, we can write shapes dot range and then in the brackets, in the round brackets, actually, you need to use array and in round brackets, you need to give the name of the shape, which is straight connector eight. Okay. So you put the name here with double quotes and then dot line dot visible equals MSO true that will make it visible okay so we have the names here we can see the second one is straight connector 9 and the third one is straight connector 12 so we can update the names accordingly and second one we can say it should not be visible third one also should not be visible so we make it MSO false so now we need to write logic for second uh, value which is target dot value equals two okay so for that we add another uh, if else block in the else part of the first one so here i just copied and paste the entire thing that i have written for value one i just need to make one change which is that i want first line should not be visible third line should not be visible but second line should be visible so i make second one as true other two as false Similarly, if the value is three, so I can put it in the else block of the second condition. So if target dot value equals three, again, copy and paste the logic. And this time I'll say that only the third one should be visible. First and second should not be visible. So false for first and second and true for third one. So now we try to change the values. Let's say, okay, something wrong. Uh, 
the issue is uh, the name of the shape i have not used the right name of the shape because the shape name is not shape connector but it is a straight connector so i need to copy and paste the same name here for all the names i actually need to update so straight connector 8 9 and 12 at all the places wherever i have used this incorrect name so i have updated all the names one more thing we can do here is in the third uh, nested uh, condition we can say that if nothing is true if the value is not in 1 2 and 3 then we want to hide all the shapes so I make false for all okay so if I put 0 you can see nothing is visible if I put 4 or 5 nothing is visible and if I make the values between 1 2 and 3 then I see the respective lines so that's how we can control shapes doesn't matter which type of graph you're using this is just to make a representation based on which line you want to show and which line you want to hide and not only straight lines but you can control any other shape as well you just need to put the right name of the shape and it will make it visible or invisible so if you like the video do not forget to subscribe to my channel and hit like button thank you for being with me i'll be coming with more such wonderful tutorials for you